Hi everybody, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to LGS. So as you read in my description today, we are going to do that assumptions tag chummy digger. Um, I know a few people asked me to do it, so I'm doing it. But before we do, I have such an itchy hand. I like never had problems with cyrorses, cyrice, cyrorses. Seriously, I can't say that word. Anyways, until I got pregnant with my second child and my hands all started to break out and then they get really itchy sometimes. Weird, weird. You go through pregnancy and all these weird things happen. But we're going to give a small YouTuber shout out. That's what we're going to do if you're a small YouTuber and you would like a shout out to hopefully get yourself more followers. Leave a comment down below. Hey, Lisa, give me a shout out. Let me know where you're from. And your name will go in my little beautiful bag here that we got from Miss Ipsy. All right, so Dimply Bean, this is your shout out, sweetheart. Dimply Bean, this is your shout out. I'm going to leave your link down in my description box. So everybody, please go check out Dimply Bean. And um, that would be great to support a small YouTuber. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, I got to tell you something. Okay, so today, Julie sent me a message, one of our my subscribers, and she's got a channel as well, Julie Barber, I think it is sent me a message saying, yay, you, you know, you got over 500 subscribers. So I look, and I had like 503, and I'm like, woohoo, you know, the contest is closed. We got 500 subscribers, we did it. And then I swear to God, stopped working like four hours later. It was 503 when I looked, and four hours later, it went down to like 496. And I'm like, okay, is this a cruel joke? Like, is YouTube playing a cruel joke? Or, you know, I posted on Instagram that I only needed like seven, I think, more to get to 500. So I'm like, did people just go and sign in and then unsubscribe? Um, just as a cruel joke. But anyways, I don't know what we're at right now. I'm going to have a look and see. Because I don't want to say we're at 500. I think if we get at 500, I might wait a few days just to make sure it's really at 500. Instead of going, yay, like I did today, I made it to 500, and then I didn't. You know what I mean? Cruel joke. So, I'm just going to go in. I want to check and see where we're at right now. Um, okay. It is, what is today? What is today? Monday. Oh, I hate Monday. Mondays. Actually, I shouldn't say the word with the H because that's a bad word in my house, but I dislike Mondays. So, right now, it says we're at... 501 subscribers right now, 501. So if it still says over 500 tomorrow, then um, I'm gonna start giving everyone numbers. But I have to go through, like I have to go down through all of uh, my channel because it tells me a list of my subscribers and just match everything up. Because I don't, there was like legit some people who um, hit the subscribe button, then they said they entered a contest and then they unsubscribed and just, I was like, really? <laughs> so anyways, but we're going to get into the assumptions. All right, first thing, I am from um, a little town. It's called, Grand well, it's not little compared to Newfoundland, but it's called Grand Falls, Windsor. Um, it's the third biggest town in Newfoundland. So that's where I'm from, born and raised. Oh, what have I got on my lip? Chap lips, I have bad chap lips. So born and raised there. I think I moved to Toronto when I was about 24 years old. So I've been here 20 years in Toronto, you know, you know, we lived outside the city for almost five years. I'd never do that again. And then I lived in Dublin for, well, it was just an overextended vacation, let's say that. So yeah, okay, um, I'm 44 years old and somebody was sending me a message. I'm 44 years old, I will be 45 July 15th. I'm a cancer, which is why my heart is always on my sleeve. And I cry, you know, everything. Um, my height, I'm 4'11". And this close, this close, this close to being 5 feet. Like, they couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't get me to 5 feet. You know what I mean? I'm like, you know, when you got to walk around and go and the people go, well, how tall are you? I'm 4'11". You know, that close to 5 feet and they wouldn't give it to me. Powers to be, just wouldn't give it to me. Where do I work? I work for a special set of hospital here in Toronto. Um, yeah, 
I'm just gonna say that. I, you know, my husband call says I work for the, the the butt doctors, but she's also she also has a specialty. So we do colonoscopies and gastros, but she has a specialty as well. And um, yeah, so she just takes biopsies of usually patients we think might have cancer. She'll go in and biopsy that. Okay, what else? How many subs do I have right now? I only have two. I'm only subscribed to two boxes. I have three Ipsy bags and look fantastic. Um, my third Ipsy bag this month, I'm sending it to my mom for her birthday. And if she likes it, I might just keep it going there for a while to see if she likes it. She's not, she don't wear a lot of makeup, you know what I mean, every now and then. But I'm thinking I might, and if she's not into it, because my mom just really don't wear makeup, then I'm thinking I might cancel the third Ipsy because two is enough and try to find something else for the price, like $20 a month. So, but it's kind of really hard to do. Um, at one point, I think I had 15 subscriptions. Like at one point I did. And how did I afford it? You know, I've just racked up my credit card like everybody else did, <laughs> you know, and I'm paying it off now. But I have a lot of stuff and I think, I think it was, I had something that I was excited about. And I think you get addicted to boxes and you get addicted to the mail and uh, then you get so much stuff you don't know what to do with. Like, I have eyeshadow palettes that I've never really looked at. You know what I mean? Other than if I swatched it, and some I haven't. And you just get so much stuff. And you get to the point where it's like, okay, you know, this stuff is going to go bad. So uh, some of it I give away. I'm going to be doing, I think, a big sale on Facebook when I get time. My face is really itchy right now. And you know what? I got that Milani foundation on that I reviewed. And I'm like, okay, I haven't tried it. And it's really itchy. I haven't tried it since I did the review on it, and I don't know. I don't like the color. It was called Creamy Vanilla, but it made me look yellow, you know? So I got, like, a lot of bronzer on and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's making my face itchy. And I think I said it was okay. Like, it's okay, but I don't know if it was just a color. And it's more, it's not a hydrating primer. It's more a matte than a hydrating primer, so... I don't, it's not it's not in my top five let's put it that way okay what else do we have here if I didn't spend my money on subscription boxes and makeup what would I spend my money on food you know because my kids are taken care of so and my bills are paid you know what I mean so before I spend my money on any makeup or subscription boxes my bills are paid my kids are taken care of all of their needs are met before I do that so if there's you know, money left over from my paycheck, and it's not coming from my husband, it's coming from mine, um, and I can do what I want with it. Uh, if I wasn't into makeup and subscription boxes, then it would definitely be food. Like, I love food, and I would eat a lot, and I love restaurants, and yeah. So that's, that's probably where I'd spend my money. Food or shoes, before I got into makeup, I would buy a lot of shoes and boots, um, and purses. Yeah, shoes, boots, and purses, and food. I, I didn't like clothes shopping because of my height. And I'm kind of chesty. I'm chesty. There's no kind of to it. I'm chesty. So, you know, I hate clothes shopping because I hate that. I shouldn't be saying that word. That's a bad word in this house. But I dislike clothes shopping because of my height. And I'm chesty. And I'm petite. But I'm not really petite because I, you know could lose 30 pounds around my belly. So I just don't like going clothes shopping. I, I dislike it. But shoes and boots, yeah, and purses. Shoes, boots, and purses. And the thing is, I'm making sure I don't have lipstick on my teeth. My feet are so small that I pretty much have to order my shoes or boots online or I'm getting dizzy. I just got dizzy. Or go to um, pay less and get size three in kids. But if I wanted a nice pair of heels, pretty much I had to get it online because there's no stores that carry size five. If they do, there's one pair and they're gone, you know? Okay, what else? Where do I see myself in five years? On YouTube. I'd like to be on YouTube full time. That's what I would like to do. I'd like to, honestly, my goal is to be, um, a big over 40 Canadian YouTuber. 
that's what my goal is for a lot of women over 40 to, in Canada and beyond to um, know that, you know what, you can do this over 40 and you can do this over 50 and you can do it over 60 and over 30. And that would be one of my goals. Um, but yeah, my kids will be older, <laughs> travel more, you know, be a little bit more healthier. Um, but that's where I'd like to see myself in five years. I would like to, you know, be a bigger YouTuber and reach more people and more women over 40. That's what I'd like to do. Hey, women over 40, we rock. That's, yeah, we do. And not saying that, you you know, 20 year olds and 30 years don't, because you do rock, believe me. I remember when I was 20 and 30, it was a freaking awesome time. It was a good time. And so have a great time, you know? Um, honest and realist. I am, I, I like to think that I'm an honest person. I just, you know, like there's nothing better than the truth. And that's the way I feel about it. I do wear my heart on my sleeve. I always have. Um, my friends are everything to me. Like, growing up, it was my friends. My friends kept me alive, pretty much. And, you know, like, you're my friends, you know, so you're my family, and you all mean everything to me, you know what I mean? You're who I speak to every day, and, you know, every night, and I know more of what's going on with your life, and you know more about mine than pretty much some of the people that I grew up with, and that's the truth, you know, and I do wear my heart on my sleeve, I mean, you know, if, if I get hurt... It's, I can't hide it. And if I'm embarrassed or shy, my cheeks get red, I blush, that's who I am, like they're getting red right now. I can feel it coming through my blush. Um, what else? No, my husband is not a chef, that was one of the questions. My husband's not a chef, he's a firefighter. But at the fire hall, wow, they have some really, really great meals and he is the designated barbecue man. He does all the grilling, he's the grill man. And, um, yeah, so he's really good in the kitchen, though, and usually he'll do the barbecue and I'll do the stuff in the kitchen, you know, the sous chef, but everyone thinks the person who did the barbecue, you know what that's like? You're in the kitchen, you know, making all the other sides that go with the steak or the chicken or whatever, but he gets the thanks, because he grilled the meat, you know what I mean? Anyways, but yeah, he's a really good cook. Um, family first, yes, I am a family first. My my immediate family, my husband and my kids and my nephew, because I've had him since he was 15. He lives with me. Um, yeah, he's like 25. And my niece, because we're tight, you know. Um, they're my immediate family, you know what I mean? And they come first. And I'm sure you're all like that, who have children. They just, they come first, you know. Um, no nonsense. I'm not a, yeah, I'm not a no nonsense parent. You know, my kids know right from wrong and they know what they're supposed to do. They know they have chores. They know they got to clean their room. You know, I don't, I don't smack my kids, but I yell. Oh yeah, I yell and I yell often, but I only yell because I probably had to say it about 18,000 times and then I start yelling. Um, we don't, curse around uh, there's no swearing in my house in front of my children like when my husband's got his friends over and they're watching a game and something they're gonna you know there's gonna be some cursing but in regards to my children there's no cursing there's no name calling there's you know nothing like that that does not happen in my house it's just not a part of my life um because i lived that life and it's not going to be a part of my children's life you know what i mean so yeah no that doesn't happen but you know i'm i may no nonsense sense kind of mom, you know, I'm not gonna go, okay, you fell down and scraped your knee if it's just a little scrape and, you know, and you're wailing forever, okay, I had enough of that, get up, you scraped your knee, we'll put a bandaid on it, you know, um, yeah, but I'm sure a lot of parents are like that. Okay, what else? Do I care a lot for others? I do, again, my friends, who are pretty much all of you, do you know you're my you're you're my my line, you know, my lifeline. Um, I can honestly tell you that I think from back home, 
I might have two people from back home who subscribe to my channel. I don't even know if I do, you know, and it's not, it's not that there was any falling out or anything like that. It's just, you grow apart and you move away. You have a different life. We talk every now and then. And a lot of the girls that grew up with back home, they're probably not into what I'm into, you know, and that's okay. But, um, yeah, you're my family. That's the way it is. You're my family. Hey, I'm your sister, so you just got to deal with that. I know I'm a wing nut, a little bit crazy, but, yeah, please take me as your sister. You know, you're my family. Um, okay, and I think, yeah, the last thing is from Lorinda in London. And this is where you're going to go, okay, she's really crazy. Like, we always knew that she was a wing nut, but she is really, truly messed up in the head right now. Lorraine, Lorinda asked me if I believed in fairies, and I have a story. So when I was nine years old, I had this friend. I got to take a sip of drink because I've been taking this medication. I have to take eight pills a day for the next 14 days, and I legit feel stomach sick. So... There's no alcohol in that, by the way. Just so you know, I don't drink alcohol. Um, yeah, so Lorenda asked me if I believed in fairies. So when I was nine, around eight or nine, I had this best friend. I mean, I went to her house every day after school. Summertime vacation, I lived with this family. Like, I was always there. I was never at my own house. I was always at her house. And we went um, on vacation to... I think it was her mom's family, which is probably about an hour away from my hometown, and it was around the sea, because the part of Newfoundland that I'm from, there's no, like, water, like, there's no ocean around me. There's a lot of fresh lakes and streams and rivers, but there's no ocean, like, around me. You would have to drive to get there, so my family um, were more like woodsmen and hunters than fishermen, right? Okay. But we went to, Lori Lynn was her name, her grandma's house, uh, this one summer. I mean, I don't know how long I stayed there. I could have been there the whole summer because I was always with this family. And there was this big hammock, and we were swimming, swinging in the hammock. We both fell asleep, and I woke up. Oh, excuse me. I remember this as plain as day. Like, this is so vivid to me, like it happened yesterday. But I woke up and I swear to God, there was fairies in front of my face and they were so tiny and they were in front of my face. And at first they were, they were being friendly, but I got scared. And I remember that they were being friendly, but I got scared and started to shoo them away. Like I was freaking out and shooing them away and, and they left. And I remember waking up my friend Lori and going, oh my God, there was fairies. They were here. They were right in front of my face. You know, and it, I remember the feeling of my heart, like just freaking out. Um, but I also remember that they were, be, they were being nice. They were saying nice things and I don't know, in my little brain or something, you know, just nice was not common. So I, I scared them off. Like I think I was being mean to them, so I scared them off. But um, yeah, that's my story. And I remember it like it was yesterday, I swear to God. And you would think that if I dreamt it, if it was just a childhood dream, that I wouldn't remember it as vividly as I do right now. But I do, and I know that's messed up. And you're all going to think I'm crazy. But that's my fairy story. I really believe that I've seen fairies. I really believe that. Because I'm just, you know, you have kids, and some people uh, of you have kids who grew up, and... Imagine something when they're younger, but they forget about it now, you know, but I'm 44 years old and I remember that moment as vividly as you know What I did yesterday well, you know, sometimes I don't remember what I did yesterday But like as vividly as when I gave birth to my children Do you know what I mean? Like I remember that and I just think that's the weirdest freaking thing that I remember that You know and if it was a dream Why would I still remember that wouldn't I have forgotten that after all these years? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so yeah, I believe in fairies. So you can all think I'm crazy, and you can all think I'm a wing nut, but you still gotta love me anyway. And that's that's the end of that. So, um, 
that's my little assumptions video. Those were the questions I was asked. If you, you know, want to, any more questions, one day get, you know, a get to know me kind of thing, let me know. Leave it in the comments down below. Um, I'm just going to refresh this and see if it still says it's at 501. Yep. So it still says right now it's 501. It's Monday. I'm going to let it go until like Wednesday because like I said, I don't want to go, woohoo, I'm at 500 subscribers and have the same thing happen again like happened to me today. So let it go and see. And then if it's still at over 500 or at 500 on Wednesday, then I'm going to go and do what I have to do and give everybody a number. And then I'm going to do a live video. But I will let you know when I'm going to do that live video so you can all watch and see who wins. Okay. Don't forget, everyone, to send in your pictures and your postcards so you can get a goodie out of my goodie bag. Um, and don't forget to put down all of your social media handles on that picture or on that postcard. That's the whole point of sending it in so you can get more followers on your social media accounts. And young or new subscribers, <laughs> small subscriber, you small YouTubers, holy cow, if you would like more followers, leave a comment down below. Just let me say, you know, Lisa, give me a shout out. I am all messed up now. I have to eat. I think those pills got me all... I don't know, wanky and dizzy and stuff, so I have to go eat something. Uh, yeah, but that's it, everyone. I hope you have a great Monday. Have a great week, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Love you.